If you're watching this video, you're probably looking for a way to transfer your old home movies into something a little more palatable, something digital. So in this video, we're going to look at the different formats that our procedure can encompass. Then we're also going to transfer a tape over to digital and let you see the quality of it and maybe even learn how to make great home movies with modern equipment. So one of the things I want to say before we get started is that our transfer method today does not include this format. This is VHSC. It will entail or include the following. This is a DV tape, so digital video. This particular format will translate well using the method that I'm going to show you. Going back in time a little bit, Sony's first incarnation of 8mm home movie was Video 8. So this method does include Video 8. Next, Sony came out with Hi 8, as you see right here on the edge of this cassette tape shell. So Hi 8 will also transfer using this method. Hi 8 had more resolution than Standard 8. And then, last but not least, the latest incarnations were a mixtape, like this particular tape, would handle either Hi 8 or the all digital format known as Digital 8. You can see the numbers there right next to my thumb. You get 120 minutes on Hi 8 or 60 minutes on Digital 8. Now, what you might not know is that there were two recording speeds for Digital 8. There was like a standard play and a long play. One of my cameras that I'm going to show you can handle both formats. One of them cannot. So if you originally recorded on LP, this particular camera will not handle LP. All right. So next, let's look at the equipment that it's going to take to transfer your memories. My first two cameras are digital video cameras, DV camcorders made by Sony. This first one you see here is a DCR HC26, and the one behind it is a DCR TRV30. Both of these units will only do the DV format. You cannot use Hi8, Regular8, or Digital8 on one of these camcorders, but you can use this same method to transfer your DV tapes over to your computer. These two camcorders are of the 8mm and above formats, so you can do Regular8, Hi8, and Digital8 on both of these camcorders and output them digitally. It's magic, right? This particular one has a cool feature that you could connect it to a computer via USB and use it as a webcam. That feature is obsolete in Windows 8 and 10, but worked on older operating systems. This one has a color viewfinder. It also has a gigantic view screen that pulls out on the side. That one must be at least four inches, four and a half, whereas this one has a tiny screen. So features vary widely between these, but the one thing they do have in common is their ability to not only record in digital, which means you could take an analog source, connect it to the camcorder, and record it onto digital tape, or you can take any of the old analog formats and output them digitally, which is what we're going to do today. So without further ado, let's talk about what is this magic technology that's gonna allow us to hook this to your computer. This magic technology is known as Firewire. It's also known as iLink. It's also known as 1394. If your laptop or your computer has a Firewire port, you can connect this cable to your computer and use it just like you would use USB. This is a high transfer rate cable connection that allows you to do the things we've just talked about. So you're going to need a laptop that has Firewire or a desktop computer. That could be Mac or PC, but we're only going to cover PC. So basically, if you own one of these camcorders that you see here, and you own a Firewire cable, and you own a computer with a Firewire connector, you have everything you need already to transfer your old tapes to digital. You may be asking, where is this magic port on my particular camcorder? Well, again, it will vary. On this particular one, you pull back this little rubber cover here. 
which reveals the USB port as well as the DV in and out port. So there's another name for it, DV in and out. So that's your FireWire port right there in the middle next to that screw. On this other model, the FireWire port happens to be in the very front of the camcorder, again hidden behind a small rubber door. This is a Dell XPS laptop. This laptop in its day was a top of the line media gaming laptop with like a gateway to pretty much anything and everything. And it still is, right? So I have a PCM CIA port here, which I think is also known as a, uh, as a mini card. Ever, whenever I do a search for uh, accessories that plug into this port, PC card doesn't do it. I have to put in PCMCIA, so just keep that in mind. But it has that connectivity there. So like, for instance, this laptop does not have USB 3.0, and I just ordered a card to plug in there to give it USB 3.0. But it's got an eSATA port here for external hard drives. It's got a slot loading DVD recorder. And there it is, the 1394 port. How do you like that? 1394. As far as the model goes, this is a model number PP35L. Whether you have Windows 8 or Windows 10, go out to the interwebs and find a copy of Windows Essentials 2012. This software contains Windows Movie Maker, which is your magical key and free key to edit videos as well as get them off of your digital video camcorder. So at this point, you should have a digital camcorder like the ones we've discussed. You should have your FireWire cable, which I'll put a link to down in the description. And you're gonna need a computer with a FireWire port. So let's get started. First, we're going to plug the FireWire cable into the front of the camcorder. Plug the other end to the 1394 port. Turn on the camcorder and put it in VTR mode. Once you do, you should hear the little chime from Windows telling you that it has detected the camcorder. The first time you do it, it's going to install a driver for it. So go ahead and let it do that. Next, take your tape of choice, whether digital or analog. In this case, we're going to use the Video Creativity, a guide to creative video storytelling from Sony and Vidron. We're going to put this into the camcorder, so I'm going to hit eject here. Place the tape into the camcorder. If you want to, you could go ahead and hit the rewind button on the top of your camcorder or on the side, depending on the model that you have, and rewind the tape to the beginning. What's interesting is with FireWire, you can control your camcorder with the software. We'll see that here momentarily. Your next step is to launch Windows Movie Maker on your computer. On the top left of your screen, there's the File menu. Click on File and then we're going to click on import from device. Click on that. You'll get this nice little message here saying photos and videos will be imported into photo gallery. Hit OK. What you should see next is digital video cameras and you should see Microsoft DV camera and VCR. Select it and hit import. It'll give you the opportunity to put a name in there. So we'll just call this video eight. Then let's click next. And then it will tell you it's rewinding the tape, which like, looks like it's already done. So in this case, I can see that my video imported time is, is ticking. The video size is gigantic. Make sure you have plenty of space on your computer. We can click here and see a widescreen preview of what this is going to look like. This is a 4.3 image. This particular tape has a lot of lead in on it as well. So the software has actually pressed play on the camcorder for me. I don't even have to hit play. OK, 
Okay, there's no sound coming out of the computer at this point, but there is sound coming out of the camcorder. I can just barely hear it via the speaker. So we are currently capturing this video. I believe it's going to capture it in AVI format, which is a very robust, versatile video format. You can then use Media Maker, Movie Maker, to translate it into MP4 or WMV. So once you are finished, once the tape is done, you can just hit stop if you wanted to, depending on which part. It's going to warn me and say, if you stop importing now, the video file will contain only the portion of the video that's already been imported. Are you sure you want to stop importing? Yes. You have to play the whole tape. You can't just hit a button and it goes whoop and transfers to your computer. So the next scene is uh, the next scene. The next window that opens up here shows us what we've imported with a little bit of a preview to it. And then what I can do is click and drag it over and drop it into Movie Maker. Then I can just hit play. Minitron, in cooperation with the Sony Corporation of America, is pleased to present. Actually, I, uh, I take that back. That particular clip is the one I previously did. I did do a test before I did all this crazy stuff for you guys. Let's look at, I think it's this one. Yep, video8.avi. So let's say I want to edit this video and get rid of all the black space that's at the beginning. Right now I'm clicking and I'm dragging this little black bar across and I should get a real-time view of where I am in my video. You can see there's a lot of extra space in there. So I'm going to drop it right there and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to say set the start point. And just like that I've gotten rid of all that extra space in there. And now when I hit play, with the Sony Corporation of America. So what we've gotten here is 4.3 video and we've gotten stereo sound. So if you originally recorded your 8, high 8, or digital 8 tape with stereo sound, like for instance your camera had stereo microphones, you will get the stereo audio, which is pretty cool. So at this point, I've checked my video, looks like it's in good shape. Now I'm ready to put it into a format that I can share with someone else. I can go up here to Save Movie, and it gives me all these different formats. So for example, when I make a video for YouTube, I use the 4 High Definition setting, which is 1920 by 1080. Or if you want something still high definition but smaller, you could use this Zoom HD setting, which is 720p video. Or you just want to hear the audio. Maybe it was just somebody singing a song. You could just export the audio only out of this. So there you have it. You have, in very simple steps, how to transfer your old home movies onto your computer. So now, for your viewing pleasure, let's take the video, the entire video, and play it for you. Let's learn about video creativity from Sony. Vitatron, in cooperation with the Sony Corporation of America, is pleased to present Video Creativity. Every morning opens up a brand new day full of possibilities. What a life. It's all right there waiting for you. All you have to do is reach out and grab it. It's 7.30, a beautiful morning. Nothing but sunshine and great music ahead of us. So stay tuned.
you don't have to miss a thing. Your new Sony Video 8 camcorder is so compact and versatile, you can take it anywhere. You can keep it close at hand to capture those special moments you want to keep forever. Don't just watch life pass you by. Your life is what you make it. So don't contemplate it. Video 8 it. You'll be amazed. Do you want to hear a story? Yeah! I can't hear you. Yeah! Okay, you got it. Once upon a time. No, 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 no. Longer ago than that. Twice upon a time. There is nothing like a good story. There have been storytellers, and those more than willing to be captivated by a good yarn well spun for just about as long as there's been imagination. Once upon a time, the teller of tales had only words and gestures with which to call the magic into being. Today, Sony's Video 8 camcorder makes it possible to take the art of storytelling into an entirely new dimension. What remains the same is that you have to want to share your imagination, and you have to open yourself to all the stories around you waiting to be told. Your camcorder is the key. The purpose of this program is to encourage you to take your productions one step beyond by injecting your stories with video creativity. We've used production techniques in this video that you can easily recreate with your camcorder. Let's take a look at some of the possibilities. The world is going to offer you a million and one things to shoot. What you're going to have to learn is how to gain enough control of your situation to let the story tell itself. With spontaneous action going on all around, you're forced to catch what you can as best you can. Like this news cameraman, you'll have to bring order to a chaotic situation if you're going to get the story. Your first job must be to establish a center of attention to which all the other actions can be related. This person or situation, like the hub of a wheel, will organize the scene and give you a focus for your story. In a less frenzied but equally uncontrolled situation, you again establish your own control by determining where the focus of attention should be first, and then proceed to tell your story from that point of view. You can't get everything, so key into what's most important. Planning and forethought gives you the creative edge. When you know where the action will take place, be sure you're in the right place to get the right shot. Your camcorder will let you swing into action at a moment's notice. Pre-planning gives you the control you need to set your imagination free. Let's take a look at an event you might find yourself wanting to shoot and see what more we can learn about okay. camcorder creativity. Let's call this story The Big Game. From a storyteller's point of view, you should choose yourself a focus for the action. A hero. Ta-da! A star is born. How will this hero win the day? Well, that's where your creativity and sense for storytelling comes in. 
First, get some establishing shots. Tell your audience where they are by shooting the preparation for an event or its location. Next, be sure your audience knows who the story's going to be about. What a kid. And then set the dramatic context. Remember, your camcorder has excellent sound capabilities, so give your characters a voice. While the story unfolds, let's look at a few more techniques that will help your production. Camera position is important if you're going to capture the action. Position your camcorder to take full advantage of the light, your subject, and the action. Don't forget about reaction shots. Capturing the right expression at the right time can speak volumes. Of course, you'll want to change your camera position every once in a while. Just remember you can also get a lot of variety with a quick pan. Now that's what I call a camcorder story. All it needs is a post-game interview. Reggie Jackson, eat your heart out. Obviously, this story could not have been shot from a single camera position, but using simple techniques and effectively editing, you can learn to shoot with the best of them. Your story doesn't need to be complicated. For instance, a headache might be the start of a story. Once you've established your premise, the problem your hero has to overcome, be creative. Let your imagination loose by devising progressively more bizarre and more desperate strategies for getting into the bottle. Don't worry about exaggeration. One of the secrets of comedy is to push ordinary events just a tad beyond reality and rationality. But make sure your story has an ending. After all, every joke needs a punchline. Have camcorder, we'll travel. Can you make me a locale strawberry milkshake, please? Thank you. You don't have to limit yourself to a single location. Let's say your idea is to follow a milkshake being passed from person to person. Well, once the glass begins its journey, the people passing it from the camera's point of view could be anywhere. The milkshake just goes out of frame to be passed on by anyone you wish. If it happens to get sampled along the way, who's to know? You can use people on the street. You can use costumes. As the director, you can even determine what direction the milkshake is passed in. The trick is to keep the continuity consistent so everything will edit together. You can be as creative as the connections you choose to make. Your story can be as long as you wish, but remember to give it an ending. Yeah, this looks like a locale shake to me. Magic is the art of making the impossible at least appear actual. It doesn't have to be just sleight of hand. It can be sleight of camcorder, too. Your video aid can let you bend the laws of physics. 
For instance, you can defy gravity. Let's face it, magic is seldom on the up and up. As far as horizons go, they can go in any direction you want. With your camcorder, it's just a twist of the wrist. And time and space? Child's play. It's frankly amazing what a little in-camera editing can do. All right. With a little imagination, your camcorder can open up a whole world of fantasy. Next Halloween, instead of the same trick-or-treat shots, why not create a fantasy transformation? Set up a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde scenario with one of your children. Then, using makeup supplies you can get from a local joke shop, video eight the progressive stages of transfiguration. Sequenced so they cut together, the shots create a fantastic effect. That looks great, Jennifer. To be truly creative, you'll want to get into editing your own camcorder productions. Editing makes video aiding a director's medium. Take, for example, this man, relaxing, thinking to himself. We edit in a shot of a small child, then cut back to the man smiling. As a director, you've told your audience that this man is a loving father. Now, let's take the same man, but this time, substitute something less homey for the baby. Cutting back to the smile, without your actor having done anything, you as a director have changed him into something very different. That's what editing's all about. Controlling everything that your audience sees and hears. The rest is just imagination. Editing we can do, you can do better, but with a little practice. So, what is the key to creativity? Well, creativity isn't something we can easily define for you. But if you think back to how you learned as a child, you'll be very close to unlocking your own creativity. To quote a line from a poem by E.E. E. Cummings, the children guessed, but only a few, and down they forgot as up they grew. Sometimes we need to take a step back to find those positive qualities of childhood, energy, curiosity, optimism, and resiliency. Be creative. Try new things, new ways, and make sure that you enjoy the process of being creative. So keep your camcorder handy. Start to see the world through its viewfinder, and a world of possibilities will come into focus. All you need to exercise your imagination is to be creative. So don't just contemplate it. Video-aid it. Do it today.